welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to turn a vase. We're going to do a little bit of hollowing. It's going to be kind of a small vase. Uh, these things sell real good at uh, some craft shows and stuff and uh, art shows. Um, what I'm going to turn it out of is going to be a piece of box elder. Uh, the tools I'll be using, number one, will be the parting tool. And we're going to use the bowl gouge right there. And then we're going to have some uh, hollowing tools. I'll probably use this one. And then I might use a little crooked one. It has a crook neck on it. I'll use this one. And then we'll use anything in between. Hey, I'll see you at the lathe. Okay, we're here at the lathe. I got it uh, mounted between centers. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, get this thing round. And get us a round cylinder. Let me get my face shield on. Crank up the speed. It started to shake about 800 RPMs, and I'll back it off a little bit. Actually, we'll run about eight, 850 RPMs. First thing I want to do is just get it round. I'm going to put a tenon on this end. Okay, I got it round, so I'm going to crank the speed up a little bit more. We're cranking about 1150. Grab my chuck here. Right there, that's right on the money. Take this parting tool, put a little bit of a dovetail in there. I usually use my skew, but you can use this parting tool, and it's just a slight dovetail on there, just like that. Let's take a look and see what we got going on with the wood as far as that goes. This is a piece of box elder. It's in the maple family. Uh, should have some color come through it. Uh, but it, this is not a very good piece of box elder. But it'll work. So, while it's in this position, I'm going to go on and take some wood off up here on this top side. up a different bow gouge because that one there needs to be sharpened so let's look at it it's pretty good i'll tell you what I'm, i might do uh i've got to make a piece that i got to paint on and so i might use this one because it i can i can Got a couple areas there that I wouldn't mind painting on, so I might I might do that with this piece. So let's go on and uh, get me a distinct bottom in here with my uh, parting tool. Now what I want to do is take this thing and uh, turn it around on my chuck, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this turned around in the chuck, uh, and I'm going to go on and finish uh, the outside of it, and uh, get it defined the way I want it. And like I said, I might use this piece to paint on. I'm going to paint on it, I'm going to flat wall here. And then I, I'll get an opening down here on this end and we'll hollow it out. So 
little bit of a tear out. Let me see if I can straighten that out. One second, I'm going to grab some sandpaper and I'm going to set and look, look at it. And I'm going to sand the outside of this. Uh, and uh, I've got a power sander in it. Okay, I've got a small drill here with a pad and uh, this is called power sanding. And this is a really good way to sand. Bowls, bases on the outside here. Okay, what I've got here is uh, I've got a, a chuck with a drill bit in it. I'm going to drill to the depth. I got it marked here, and that's going to be my depth that I'm going to hollow this thing out. So let, let's just take a second, and uh, I got my speed turned way down. All I want to do is get that center hollowed out. And I like to use just a regular drill bit with this because it don't have a point on it. Uh, Cause sometimes if you use a Forstner bed or something like that, it uh, has a point on it and you have to allow for that uh, down in the bottom. So this here seems to be the best that works for me. And uh, that way I don't have a point down in the bottom and I can really smooth it out once I get down in there. And that's all we do, just drill it. Okay, I've got that whole drill. Now I'm gonna drill uh, 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 the hole bigger with my straight tool here. Shut it off, we're going to blow it out. Change it out to a crooked tool here. And uh, I want to back my tool rest up a little bit. Okay, I got the straight one back in there. I'm going all the way to the bottom of it. And I'm just gonna put me a little mark. That just is gonna tell me where my bottom is. So as I'm hollowing this, I will actually know uh, where I'm at.
start that I'm gonna I'm, since I got the straight one I can come up here to the closer to the rim and uh, that gives me uh, a little bit closer and that tool is not hanging off the tool rest that far so that's much better I'm going to blow it out again. Actually, I'm going to take this light. I'm going to look down in there and see what's going on. Actually, it don't look too bad. I'm going to change tools. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down in there with the scraper and I'm going to scrape that bottom and smooth it out. This makes another good tool to use so you don't have as much sanding in there. And then I'm going to come up that side and just smooth everything out right around the corner. And then right on that neck. And if you think you need to check it, always stop and check it. Go on and blow it out. back down in there right in the corner it needs some more work so we'll go back in and tackle that shut it off I'm gonna blow it out again then we're going to check the depth. And I need some more work right down in that corner. Blow it out again. And check my depth. The depth on it is perfect. And the thickness is right at a quarter of an inch. All the way up and down. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I like that. Uh, beautiful little vase. What's going to happen now is that I'm going to go back in. I'm going to sand this out on the inside. And then I'll, I'll do some more sanding on the outside. I would reverse this and jam chuck it and take the bottom off of it. I'm not going to do that on this video. Uh, because I want to spend some time sanding it. And uh, I will... Uh, do that and we'll show that on the next video maybe uh, how we do that the next video is uh, probably going to be doing a vase similar to this but I'm going to hollow it out using a laser this one here I wanted to show you uh, how to do it just by hand and using some hollowing tools uh, some basic hollowing tools it's very easy be careful a little bit at a time hit like and subscribe and thank you for joining us on this video, and I'll see you the next time.